Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we are doing a very requested video of going through all of my Ray Dunn. So I have gotten rid of a bunch of my Ray Dunn pieces over the last couple months and I didn't share with you any of that process. I think in a previous vlog I might have shared with you the few things that I was getting rid of, but I wanted to go ahead and pull everything down onto my kitchen island to really see what I had and make sure that when we move, I'm going to be keeping things that I absolutely love and will still use. Now today is a very gloomy, rainy day outside in Colorado. It has been raining pretty much every single day this weekend. We've had some crazy storms, so it's very gloomy, and instead of being lazy and watching movies all day, I decided to be a little bit more productive with my day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know in the comments down below if you guys still collect or done or if you are phasing out of it as well if you do not already follow me on Instagram please make sure to do so the link is always in the description box down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get on to the video So we are going to set up our new package that we got in the mail. This is from Narwhal. If you guys have never heard of what a Narwhal is, it is the world's first self-cleaning robot mop and vacuum. It auto detects dirtiness and it returns to its station to clean and restarts after. So I'm very excited to try this out, get everything set up. I desperately need to mop my floors, so we're going to see how it does. Like I said, it should return to its little station to auto clean itself, so I've never seen anything like this before. So we're gonna put it to the test in today's video. I will have a link in the description box down below for you guys if you are interested in checking it out. Let's go ahead and set this thing up and I will show you guys how it works. All right, so now that we have the app set up, I wanted to show you guys kind of what came in the box. So this is the actual robot vacuum and mop. And then these are the attachments for the bottom. So this is the attachment for the vacuum and it does come with these extra pieces as well if you do need to replace them. This is the magnet strip that it comes with so that you can mark off areas for the robot vacuum and mop not to go. And then these are the attachments for the mop. So it comes with two here and then two of the replacement ones as well. So all you do is just take these little guys off and you replace them with these. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. We've got this big guy plugged in. I need to fill up this right side with clean water as you can see here on the top the left is wastewater the right is clean water and then we will try out the mop portion of the robot so i just wanted to show you guys the map now that it's done this is so crazy i cannot believe the technology of this thing this is like a total layout of my house. It is absolutely crazy. It's pretty much going right up to the objects in the kitchen as you can see, so it is getting a pretty good clean. Going right up next to this, so it's doing a pretty good job, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on the mopping attachment and see how that goes. All right, it's coming out. Yep, looks like it's wet. <laughs> All right, Let's see how good this bad boy does. Is it mopping right now? Uh huh. You see the water? You can see it's. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, it's making a trail. <laughs> Lazy people mopping. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> Gets so close to things, like right up. That's that. pretty good. Like it's sensor is amazing. So if you guys are interested in getting one of these of your own, I will have a link in the description box down below for you guys to shop. I'm super excited about this thing, especially in the new house. 
it's gonna be awesome. So make sure to check the link in the description box, like I said, down below to check it out. So we're going to be starting above my fridge. So I do have this colander. This is the Icon Collection. I do plan on keeping this just because I don't really feel like it looks super right done. It doesn't have the long letter on it. So I am going to be keeping that, but I'm going to move this so we can open the cabinets above it or behind it and we can see all of my Christmas decor that we have in there. Okay, so now that we have this open, this is where a lot of my holiday stuff is. So I have my Christmas up top, my Halloween, and then my Valentine's Day stuff. So I'm just going to take everything out. I am most likely going to keep those three things that I have for Halloween. I do also have some mugs in another area, so I will grab those, but I'm just going to take everything out so I can see everything set out on the counter so that I can go through. I have gone through a ton, like this whole entire cabinet above my fridge was filled with just Christmas stuff, so pretty much limiting it to this up here is pretty big, so I'm going to pull everything out and then we will look through everything. The second place we're going to clean out is this little cabinet above my Keurig. I'm gonna pull all of these out. I really don't drink coffee very much. I drink it maybe like a couple times a month. So, probably gonna try and get rid of some of these, but like this mug, has a lot of sentimental value because me and my mom, this is our scene, so probably gonna keep things like this one. Let's move over to here. So this is the current setup that we have. And then we also have, I don't know if we have any, there's not any Ray Dunn back there, so we'll leave all that. Um, just a couple mugs under here. So you wanna take those two up there? have my little mugs from Target. These are my favorite. We're gonna leave those in there though. Grab all these and then we'll bring them up there. I also wanted to show you guys too, on this side we have, we have the Halloween bowls here, which we'll grab in a second. And then we have our Halloween mugs, which I'm probably gonna keep most of them. I don't know, I might just keep the basic witch one and get rid of all the other ones. Who knows, we'll see. show you guys in this cabinet above the microwave this is kind of embarrassing there's so much crap up here there's not a lot of redone I think this little baby bird birdhouse and then my old OG canisters that are right there I think that's the only redone but I am gonna get those out I need to go through and organize this as well all right you guys we have everything out on the counters the only thing that I didn't take out because I know I'm not gonna get rid of them is my pasta bowls. Excuse my mess over here with all my like produce stuff. But I have four pasta bowls here. So you can see one, two, three, four. And then all of these ones on the bottom are from Amazon. They're like marble pasta bowls. So I'm gonna be keeping those. So I'm not gonna take those out, but just wanted to show you guys those. But this is everything. I have it, 
kind of organized. So I have my Christmas stuff kind of right in through here. I have Halloween stuff here, fall stuff. And then I have everyday mugs right there. Moving over to this side, we have Valentine's Day stuff kind of back in through here. And then this is like our spring everyday stuff. Um, so I do have like my OG canisters here, which I think I'm going to keep. I really just haven't gotten the courage to sell these yet. I still really love them, love the dimples on them. And I think they would look really good in our new kitchen with all the black and white. I do have some birdhouses kind of scattered here and there. And then some more everyday stuff over here. These are our cereal bowls. I am not opposed to getting rid of these, but I need to get some new bowls before I get rid of them. So we shall see salt and pepper shakers. I really like these, especially for the new house, the black and white. I have my bake pan, which I don't have a baking pan like that. So I'm just really unsure of what I want to do. I am going to try and get rid of as much as I can. Probably not going to be a ton, but um, also wanted to show you guys this. A lot of you guys have asked me about this. I used to use it in my decor a lot and now I don't really use it. This just kind of holds my mini mugs on here. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. I kind of want to keep that, but we shall see. We're going to start going through things and getting rid of some stuff. This still amazes me. I'm going to go through and like count everything, but there is definitely over like a hundred things here, I'm sure. So we're going to start weeding through everything and then I will show you guys what I decide to sell. All right, so we have everything back in the cabinet above the fridge. I did fit everything in here except for the things that are going to be displayed. So Halloween and fall is here. We have Christmas, Valentine's Day, everyday canisters, some Christmas back there, more Valentine's Day, and then a couple everyday birdhouses. So it is full, but when you really think about how much I have gotten rid of, I know it's still a lot, but kind of breaking it down. I only have like four mugs for Christmas. I have three mugs for Halloween and three mugs for fall and then two mugs for Valentine's Day. Again, I don't want to get rid of my everyday canisters yet because I think I still really love them. I had thought about getting rid of the sweets and treats, but those are also OG canisters that I did not want to get rid of. So and that is where we are at right now. I'm going to take you guys down here so I can show you guys what I'm getting rid of. All right, so here's everything that I'm going to be either trying to trade or just sell. These are the things that I'm going to try and trade. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I don't even really have an ISO except the guacamole and salsa bowls. Those are like the only things that I potentially want, so we shall see. But I'm also getting rid of all of this stuff. I'm getting rid of my two smaller mugs. I'll show you guys the size difference of them. I don't know if you guys can tell so much on camera, but the newer mugs are just so much bigger than the older mugs, but it is time to get rid of them. Getting rid of my family pumpkin, my coasters for Christmas, a birdhouse, actually two birdhouses, my squeeze juicer, and then my coffee mug. So these will all either be getting sold or traded most likely all sold so yeah i feel like i got rid of a decent amount of stuff and i'm happy that everything is in one cabinet now so that i don't have to go to a million different places to find all of my redone stuff so i'll show you guys over here this is pretty much all empty here now i can just move actually all of this stuff up here since there's no reason to have things in two different places so just gonna move that stuff up there, put that back, and then on this side, there's just a few decor pieces in this one, and then in this drawer, we have just a couple decor pieces as well, and my little potion bottles for Halloween, so. 
getting there, trying to go through a lot more things before we move. I need to go through this one because this drawer is a disaster, as you can see. So, anyways, are you in the pantry? What are you doing? <laughs> this thing is tiny and he fits in there. This is one thing I cannot wait until the new house. We're going to have a much bigger pantry. <laughs> Look how small this thing is. How do you fit in there? I don't know. Can I try? I go skiing mode. Ooh. Let me try cross. Mama, this is not making <laughs> Can you guys both fit in there? No. Try. I can be able to turn it here. See, get, see if you guys can both in there. I bet you can. Okay. Oh, they both fit. <laughs> <laughs> You're sticking your butt out. Oh. It didn't really hurt, by the way. You guys so that is it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed this decluttering of my redone and i hope you enjoyed seeing the new narwhal self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop like i said the link to purchase or check out the narwhal will be in the description box down below i'm so excited to keep using it in this house in our new house i would love to have a conversation with you guys down below letting me know if you guys still collect done and also let me know what you think of the narwhal robot vacuum and mop i'd love to hear your guys's opinions on that thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you in my next one bye stimmer bliss mm -hmm.